I want to see what happens when I get the statue of the seventh all the way over here. The way is a big place. I bet I'm going all the way to Subaru by now. Subaru Rose. Yeah, I knew it. If I find a Subaru Rose, then clearly there it's Subaru here. All right, where is it here? Oh god, there it is. Oh god, this is what Subaru is like. It's a foresty area. Whereas Leeway is just the... Uh-oh. Four-leaf sigil and Subaru. Those who can manipulate the elements are faced with one such crest. They can use it to travel swiftly. Sometimes you find cluster leaves of cultivation that scatter these four leaves. Huh. Okay. I don't know what a four-leaf sigil is. I have no idea. Oh my god! You can teleport and go places! Ooh. I haven't even gone to Japan land. I'm already impatient enough to figure out what's here. Alright! Back to the seven for Noble Hearts. I want to see the map in this area. Uh, okay, I did not get much of this area. Okay! Uh, these guys are here. Eh, what are those? You see them? We're playing people. What are you talking about? I saw them, but what are those? Little round plant like things, right? Colin, just look at that. We should ask around to get a chance. Oh, man. Oh, well. And there's a dendril Nemo, whatever it is over there. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to get right back to first step in a Sumeru, and I'm not going to bother with anything else. Um, setting sail. It's been a while since you've struck an agreement with Beto to go to the Inazuma together. You decided to check on how things are progressing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to Inazuma. Ad Astra no. Ask, well, what can I do? Yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet Regard, Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with you. Uh-huh. Now, is there something you do know that I could negotiate to share? There you are. You're there the I am. Beto will be taking to Inazuma, right? Uh, it seems our intel has arrived. The fleet has nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a head count, we can get underway. Captain Beto sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Since Beto is the captain of our way. Pretty much. Of course. There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. So you'll okay. be heading off then? I said, but whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens or the depths of the abyss, each step you take is another achievement. Heaven or hell, whichever you choose in the end. Until we meet again. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Ad Astra Abyssosk, Catherine. Oh, kind of. <laughs> Moving on. Well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. What? So You're somehow on uh, Inazuma already? <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell. Oh, well, I guess it's time for me to go now. The immortal god and the eternal euthymia. Alright, Bedo, may I go with you, please? Captain. Ah, you finally made it. Yes, I have. All these years, come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. Permission there to come aboard, Captain. Might have said. <laughs> Don't look too serious. I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <laughs> well, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation of eternity. I really wonder what their idea of eternity is. If it's like something exclusive. Anchors uh, that's usually when we put anchors down. Or maybe I completely got something wrong. I don't know. I'm not good with ship, ship, ship terminology! Hmm, 
there's Kazuha. Ha. Kazuha. Ha. <laughs> Are setting sail. Kahina Zuma. Finally! Japan land! Japan land! Where I get to make fun of Japan during its closed country era. After raiding the raging thunderstorm, the Elcor finally comes to port. Japan land! Magad. It's awesome. It's got that Sakura theme in the background. She's closed off. Oh, right there. Ahoy. We finally get to Inazuma. So, you finally made After it. After so oh, sure kept me waiting. Long. Long. Patrick's been bugging me about this. I, I don't know why he wants me to do Inazuma. I feel like he's got something against Japan. I can't quite tell. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. Uh, oh. You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. Toma? <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Why? Why do you want to see me? Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems uh, even the stormy seas can keep rumors of these outlanders' sterling deeds at bay. Yeah, but that's the thing. This country is closed off. So, what? Does news still get through? Like, goods can't- goods and services can't come through- come in and out. So, I don't know. Like, what? News still gets through to you or something? <laughs> <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Thomas resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. Why, he kills people? If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. So he does kill people. <laughs> <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Why, are you added as a playable character? Good. And if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. You have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Hmm. Oh, right. Kazuha. Until next yeah, time, a... Traveler. I, I know Patrick Remember Gold. to give it your all. No well, matter correct what me on this. perilous storms you may encounter. I know pra eh, Patrick will correct me on this, but I can't remember if... Uh... Maybe. I think I, rem I remember once. For once, my brain cells are putting together. Something about where his brother was trying to see the brilliance of uh, the Raiden Shogun, but somehow he left. I don't know where the criminality part came in, but it, I know it might have something to do with the backstory of Kazuha. Look for uh, we got this. We finally got through the raging storms. We can now proceed. Go. Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. I thought the border and everything was closed off, and yet we're still allowed in? Um, I thought we were supposed to be keeping things. <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. Mm -hmm. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. Okay, then. We still need to register in a country that is closed off to everybody. I gotta register with the border, let me know I'm here. Hey! You. Let me register. Hello? Please state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Kageyama. Oh, except you, Toma. You must be new here. I thought the country is closed off. Why am I allowed in? <laughs> Excuse me? 
Please provide the information requested and also declare any goods you are here to find my brother. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We cannot approve entry for purely personal reasons. So, unless you have a valid reason for this... Um... My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... Hmm... Here are the entry papers for your kind perusal. What? Take your time! <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Hmm. Sorry about that. Oh, I get it. You want to see what kind of bullshit excuse we can pull up before you pull up the papers. Oh! I see. Okay. Your papers are all in order. Welcome to retail. <sighs> You're shy, must be. So, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they Outlander. only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on retail, there's a process you have to go through with them. Right. Immigration process. So it is super strange. What do you expect? I don't know if uh, Hoyoverse is trying to emulate the idea of Japan being in a closed country era. What happens if you have to deal with Japan like this? Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. Uh-huh. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku Decree in force. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. Uh, my journey must go on. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Uh, okay. Now, let's head you over to the Atlanta twice. Affairs Agency. You said that twice. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of retail, the Conjo Commission. Okay. Conjo Commission? Venture, yes, one branch of the Tri Commission of Inazuma, responsible for growing and managing the nation's wealth. Um... You really haven't heard of it before? No. Roll it open itself to two more noble hearts. There we go. Ugh. Ah. Kami Sato Estate, Grand Narukami Shrine, Mount Yogu, Konda Village, Konda Machi, Byako Plain. Byako. It almost sounds like a. Uh, uh, also, how many islands are there? There's probably like at least a few of these perpetual. I didn't realize these things were here. Um. Oh god. Oh god, I gotta have these Inazuma Shrine of the Death's Key. Ah, get. Hey. Somehow you're allowed to step into China land, but as soon as it gets to Japan land, yes. pay first, please! And, uh, you want to apply for residency, both of you? Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Uh... Two million? <laughs> That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry, you can trust my math. Uh... I there wasn't so much questioning your math. <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think- Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to 400,000 mora total. That is quite expensive. <laughs> Thank you, but as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll tr- That's not how you handle? By all means, pardon- All right then, as you wish, Mr. Toma, I will make a record. <laughs> Great. Uh, the, what's her name does not sound pleased. As you wish! The residence of the application is proceeding smoothly. The Outlander Affairs Light Agency. Uh. She went from 2 million down to 600? There's something seriously wrong with people's sense of finance around here! Yeah, it, it's not like a leeway where you have unlimited mora. Here, the, any amount is almost anything. I don't know if that's like, um,. A Japanese thing, it could be. Where you, you got different prices for different things. You, you, I could be wrong. I, I could be right. Like, video games over there are a lot cheaper. Some prices go down a lot. Who knows? Reminds me of someone else's strange relationship with Mora. <laughs> it's not as mind boggling as you think. Processing fee is just a figure of speech. It's also a figure of give me money or I'll kick you out of the country. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. 
so it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than sense gets stuck here and needs to apply for residence. <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Does anyone push back? Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. Uh, that literally how every single merchant from Japan had to handle things? They could just build milk dry? So it's a trade association built by- Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and struct. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. So how would an Elder ever get to meet? The Raiden Shogun feels further away than ever. <sighs> Sounds like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an Outlander in Inazuma. Yes. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you are outlanders, if after all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who uh, reigns on high, while all other life cases up in awe. Uh-huh. I still have to find a way. It's Japan land! People find a way! Huh. It's like anime! Nothing is impossible! I was going to say, nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Really? They'll just show up at lunch? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Okay. Really? Wow! The Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought! As much as I get after Paimon for making a lot of stupid claims, and, and as much as she has made some good claims before, I'll go with this as well. <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it can be done. However, before we get there... You're gonna ask for something in return. Connections come at a high price, you understand? You're gonna ask for something in return. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. You're still gonna ask for something in return. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. So, favors? I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle. So, so what's the job? To trade, babe. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, never mind. Uh, I didn't say you were a crook. I <sighs> say, what is the job? Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. The head of the association is called Carissio, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk to him. Okay. <laughs> Here, Grisu. <laughs> Hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. Luckily, we had a friend with us. Ah, good. That's a relief. You need to be careful, or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. Yes. We heard the association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes. Left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. Because they don't trust Outlanders and they'll bilk them for everything. The Sakoku Decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. Mm. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sakoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity, but in and of itself it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. Mm -hmm. No. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Oh, of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on retail. That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. What the hell is Crystal Mara? Crystal Mara? Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. 
So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal mirror. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for crystal mirror drove the price higher and higher. Now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. Yes, the Monopoly Man monocle moment. Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. It's a vicious cycle. The consequence of which uh, is that sorry, our sorry, taxes will soon exceed our pro <sighs> We've tried communicating <laughs> with the commission directly. But? If this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar and thunder. <sighs> Untain, my dear homeland. It was soon off a lot for the moment. Yeah, I was about to say, you have a top hat for someone who's living in the Inazuma. Sounds awful. What do you think we should do? Uh, try our best to negotiate with the Conjure Commission. But Chris was the head of the association, and even he hasn't had any luck. Right. Okay. Well, we could try to... uh, that vendor. I've actually got to talk to the vendor then. Past, uh, oh, so that's why he looks us. French. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association. If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. Okay. Can you please lower your prices so people don't get kicked out? Crystal Marrow. I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? Uh, yes, we just arrived. So, what do you need with me? Where do you source your goods? The Shearner. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Yeah, well, that's the thing. People are being taxed for a resource that you're having, so it's like other people are giving their business. Trade secret. Got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? Yeah, and there's also a thing about being unfairly taxed for a material that you have, so there's also a demand. But this guy's got a bad attitude. Can you reduce your prices? Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? <clears throat> oh, I see what's going on here. Carisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? Oh my god. <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable. Not by a single mora. Hey! What's your problem? Get out of here. Go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place. And they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. Well, it, if they're in seriously hot water, even if it is for you. But what are we gonna do? There's no talking to I'm gonna get a real guy. fixer on the case. Let's go talk to Toma. Yeah. Toma. Mm hmm? That was quick. You're gonna have to have, have, have Well, by all means, tell, tell me what you need. need. I'll help as, as much, much as I can. can. Uh, someone will tell me the source of their material. There's a new tax that requires crystal marrow, but the person selling crystal marrow is not willing to divulge his sources or lower the prices, so... He's pretty much relying off other people's misery. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. What do you know about Werner? Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he'd collect on the beach just to get by. But he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. Yeah, because he's uh, relying on selling people stuff that nobody else can afford, but have to buy it because otherwise they'll get kicked out. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. You're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? Seems like a Mondstadter to me. That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Lea and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree... So he left the association and turned his back on this! <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude. Really? Okay. Well then, it sounds like you may have... Right. So in other words, negotiate with her again. Yeah, he was one of them. So even though you want to say I'm different, you're kind of in the same boat. What are you doing back here? 
Just because I got plenty of time on my hands. Doesn't time mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Freedom. It was the wind that led me back here to you. Huh? Where's this coming from? You're from Monstat. A daily and wine, a uh, bar serenade would make perfect. Be perfect right now. Monstat? You were talking about Monstat? Yes. Uh, what do I need? Um. Yep. This. Yep. This. Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. Yeah, so you were there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. May the animal oh, protect how it you. Me back. Oh, my hometown. <sighs> oh, oh. <clears throat> so. Close your eyes. What is this? Just close your eyes already. Doesn't close it. Doesn't doesn't it you sound mean familiar? The sound of the ocean. Uh, grill chop suey, grill tiger fish. <gasps> Leah Harbor. I can, I can see it so and clearly. Never even oh, and the, the sound of the waves. Ball. Xiao lanterns. This guy has a really active imagination. Either that or he really does miss Leela Harper. Or maybe he's emotional. <sighs> um, I'll just take this. The silk flower. Wait. Stop. That's, That's enough. enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. A lot of people heart, have their sympathizer the position you're in. You mean, the folks from the International often... I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown. I've run into folks from the Association more than a few times doing just that. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them? Free myself from this anguish? Uh-huh, so it's, it's basically doggy dog. Um, well... They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't, so I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. Who are those people? All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I- You ready to talk now? The International Trade Association will protect you. But I betrayed them. I can't show my face there. Uh, come on, you scaredy cat. So come on, get off your chest. It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keijiro and his companions. Hmm, so that was intentionally set up. They start by overtaxing the merchants, <laughs> then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil! I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. Evidence? We need evidence. Hmm. You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever Seems I report like back to him after a sale, he oh, always God. heads to the same place. I, it's always made me suspicious. Yeah, it's just what I was saying earlier. For some odd reason, Patrick has it out off for Japan. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. Really? Well, then there's no time to lose! Kedro, it's him! After him! Do I have to fight him here? Confessions, follow Kishi. Too close! Yep. Too close! You'll notice this getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! No. Restart. Not too close. Oh, Cause he knows. I have him in my eyesight, he ain't going away. Are you telling me I got too far away? Oh my god, like, he's a few feet in front of me! He ain't going away. Alright, now he's out of the way. He did not get out of distance. What could he be doing at a place like this? 
Find more, we need to give it. We would give it a trade. Let me take a look here. Ah, yes, this is what we're looking for a clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Is it enough? Because when we had to do the uh, I can't remember what it was the teapot one, uh, um, we had to get more evidence. I'll, I'll say goodbye. Huh? You're I... I need a little more time before. Huh. Poor Werner is a pretty awkward guy, huh? I really hope he's not gonna squeal on Kijiro. But we really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. You're the one making a mockery of the rules here, Kijiro. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger, so now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Mirror over the selling right back to the taxpayer. Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us! Well, uh, you, you, you see, the, the ta ta Let no. me take a look at the ledger. Could he soon reach the, each and every item in the lecture? Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made is right here in your personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. Huh. So you think you can use this against me, do you? It's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else. Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Right. Huh? Is that a threat? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to have their reputation tarnished. Uh, well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike, and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? <sighs> Do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Uh, and not even an ounce of sh So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already stuck a good deal here. But it's never enough. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief, you've arrived. Hmm. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand. They're never grateful. Even with evidence, everybody's gonna get kicked out. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. I assure you that Hiroki Shinsuke will hear of this. Oh, and you dare to utter the commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. They're gonna get kicked out. Uh -oh. This is going in a bad direction. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? Context, Paimon. Title of any wait with these people. Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young... What the hell? Lady of our clan some courtesy. What the hell happened there? You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan, the Shirasagi Himegimi, I don't need any trouble with her. 
Okay, let's forget all this. It'll be my chief! Enough! We're leaving! Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen! My treat, I insist! Uh, no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned then. It's that bridge has been burned ever since that decree came out, so I don't think you need to worry if your actions have caused that. Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. She's the one who found a way to turn things around. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. <sighs> Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are right to the core. All right. It's time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? Commission. <laughs> Straight to the point. Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Uh, you've been keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? No! The Yashiro Commission. <coughs> Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I can go into more detail on what exactly that covers, but I'm not even sure myself. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Shirasagi Himigimi. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisa. Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. Hmm. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. So where did Ms. This Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. You're asking the right questions. And to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark anymore. Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island. And I got to know Captain Beto during that time, too. Mm -hmm. So what else do you know? Just a month's work. <laughs> well, maybe I have a slight nag for schmoozery. But the main thing was, I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. You were expecting me. Why? Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monster and me. Yeah, but why are you interested in me particularly? So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. So, you're expecting me because Kamisaki... Kamisato is expecting me. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Hmm, so in a way you heard from her because in a, in a sense, you're expecting me to somehow turn the whole Shikoku title around and I don't know, maybe turn over the decree? Change the tide of the times? She wants to get rid of, she, he wants my help to get rid of the decree the Shokoku decree, so that nobody can be swindled out of their money anymore. In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage. It's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. Mm, what else is she hoping to see? With your help, even the Vision Hunt decree. I never offered help. Ah. Uh, Ooh. Hmm. That's an unexpected development. I have one goal here, to meet Perhaps the right resources were misleading. Yes, of course. I completely understand, and as agreed, I shall help set that up for you. Huh. Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, okay. uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as good luck with everything. Okay. So I gotta do stuff. Lots of stuff. So Patrick, I am now finally on Izuma, as you asked. Uh, we should get going. 
there's one problem. Huh? What's up? Uh, Eleanor's are unable to leave Rato. Oh, Brad, wait. So, did Tomo forget that? Must be the next part of his test. Oh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter of fact about the whole. Except I can still teleport out of here. Done. Rito escape plan. Try to leave Rito. 